Hey everyone, it's me again. Um, putting in another vlog for today. Just got off of work. It was a long day, but it went okay. Um, I'm doing the Aboriginal Shield program at the uh, at the school here with the grade sixes and grade eight classes. And um, what the Shield program is designed to do is is teach them about drug and alcohol awareness, tobacco awareness, gang awareness, uh, the legal system. Uh, a lot of things that are really important for for any youth to learn, um, but it's it's more catered and focused towards Aboriginal populations, uh, First Nations, Métis, and, and Inuit um, right across Canada. So it's it's really fun so far. It's a lot of hard work. Um, it's a lot of kids to work with, even though it is one of the smaller groups. Um, but it's proven to be quite effective, from what I can tell. Um, some of the kids outright say, "Wow, I." I'm going to use this. I'm going to try using this information to to try to make decisions and and uh, so there's a lot of positives from it. Um, interesting thing that I've seen, uh, I heard on the news, and then I've, I've just been reading about it. New Zealand. There's a couple stories about this, but New Zealand is moving to be smoke-free by 2025, and. They seem to be doing that by raising the taxation on cigarettes. Uh, so I think even next year, um, the price will be at almost $50 a pack. Then uh, within the years after that, they're going to up the price by um, a percentage a year until the price is nearly $100 a pack to try to, to stop people from buying them. Unfortunately, it's probably just going to cause a lot of black market cigarettes to be around there and, and things like that. But it's neat that they're giving it a try because if it goes good, then maybe another country can adopt a, a similar practice and see how it works. But I have a feeling the black market cigarettes are going to get pretty pretty crazy over there. But it's uh, neat. There was another story that said there, there was some uh, health groups in, in New Zealand that were aiming to have a smoke-free smoke earth by 2040. That means less than 5% of the Earth's population are smokers. So there's a lot of uh, places out there really trying to do stuff to, to uh, promote tobacco awareness and the negative harmful effects of, of commercial tobacco. It's a lot like what I was doing um, before I started this Aboriginal Shield program. So yeah, that's a little bit about what I've seen on the news. Um, as far as my plumbing goes, uh, it's still hit and miss. Um, Today was another rough day, like a lot of them are. The weekend was really bad. I had a really sore throat. I think I got a little touch of strep throat. And on top of that, my my belly was just sore, so it was mostly I just slept. And uh, when I did get up, I just come on the computer a little bit. So didn't really go out and do anything because uh, I just wasn't feeling up to it. Um, we'll see this weekend how things go. Hopefully they're a little better. I'd like to maybe go on a trip somewhere or something like that. I like going for drives on the weekend. So we'll see how that goes. I uh, haven't heard back from any specialists or anything yet, but that should be within the next couple of days. I, I really hope because I want to get want to get something figured out. So yeah, that's my vlog for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, catch you next time.